Thank you, Rainer, for these very challenging ideas you have about time, persons, and the relation. Questions from the audience before I start? No. Martina, yes, please. Uh, when you did the matching with um, DB Spotlight yeah. and with um, DBpedia, I think, mm -hmm. um, did you check for only one word to match with? something that is in uh, Wikipedia, or did you also look for, for n-grams that matched with? No, I just took the text as it is and um, just um, for playing around a little bit and um, had a look what um, DBpedia Spotlight um, gives me back. Okay, mm. and um, when you did this, you, you said that you used German as a language yeah. for um, DBpedia, I think. And, and is it because for the English versions there are not enough um, I don't know, sources, mm -hmm. or is it because there are no? Okay, um, DBpedia Spotlight um, mm -hmm. allows for setting a language preference. Mm -hmm. And um, indeed, um, we know DB or, or Wikipedia is a multi language um, project, and um, some page in one language does definitely not be the same, just translated to another language. They are really independent. And I have also shown that, um, for example, for the metadata, which are recently more and more included um, to the um, Wikipedia pages, um, there's a difference. And um, it's different also for each um, editor. Um, I, I, I cannot really argue what the reason is why um, only the German, um, um, why only choosing German resulted in some hits um, and other languages had no hits at all. So um, I would also think that, um, of course, um, DBpedia Spotlight is then, according to the chosen language, um, looking for the entries in the accordingly language of Wikipedia or DBpedia, um, but I don't know about that. Any other questions? I have one, um, and, and maybe enlarging the problem and the issues you have. I'm, I'm thinking how to deal with the Roman emperors. Because for the, for the consuls you have, let's say, one person who has one name and who has a dating function by its position in a certain period, mm -hmm. like being consul of a certain year. But for the emperors and maybe for other persons as well, um, like, like Hellenistic reigns and rulers and so on, you have one person with different names, at different temporal aspects and phases. Mm -hmm. So that, um, would you think that adds on a new complexity or would you think that your approach would cover these issues as well? Um, I think there is a, mm, an enhanced complexity, of course, but on the other side, it is a big chance because as the historians did anyway, we can use these epitheta um, because they have a special temporal aspect, I, we do more or less um, know um, when Augustus had the consulship for the first, second, third time and um, other um, um, offices for first, second, third time. And this is a combination um, from which we can derive the exact date or more or less a time frame um, bringing together these single items and their accordingly um, date to set um, the ex more or less exact time frame of um, the whole um, phrase or whole term um, mentioned in a special inscription. Any other comments, ideas? One, one question to you. You made a remark on the on the data type of, of uh, the the dating, in fact, where you where you showed the, the markup 
where there were two types of, of uh, dating a person, I think it was. There was one with 57 before, and then another way of, of inscribing this. My question would be, do you have already a clue on what would be the, the most preferred way of, in fact, in the end, mapping the, the persons or the events on a, a temporal scheme? Is it more sensible to think about really mapping it with exact dating, even though we know that the exact dating is a big problem? Mm -hmm. Or would it be more the type of a sequential, a sequential type to say this one is before this, this we know, but we do not know the exact date? Yeah, um, this is indeed um, a question accordingly to um, geographical data, of course. And um, I think that in the first place, we need to reference to a unique identifier. And this must be some um, more generalized um, um, ID um, representing a consulship within one year. And um, then inferencing when we have more data linked to all these um, IDs, then we can inference from further information from the prosopography when did one person had a consulship or lived or had another office or whatever we know about this. And finally, eventually, um, bringing all this inference information together to build um, a really stamped account in time. Any further remarks? That seems not to be the case. So I thank you, Reinhard, for the first part of the